who are you and where are we? Don't don't worry if anything I, I say sounds weird because it's probably the whole thing will be like that. I'm Luke Wyatt. I have a, a project called Torn Hawk, and we are in the uh, Mexican Summer Studios. I guess that's what it's called. I see myself as the romantic hero of, of my own life, but I don't want to impose myself as the like protagonist of other people's lives. I want them to to be like their own hero, you know. I, I wrote this album kind of more like things that that I used to uh, write, uh, other projects that some people probably haven't heard. It started from kind of skeletal, melodic and harmonic ideas on the piano and then I, I built out stuff from there, but it didn't, it, I also wasn't that concerned with having it, having the forms emerge as, as like pop songs. I want to do something that I don't really know what I'm doing, notation, then I want to put people in a room and be like, follow these directions, even though I've noted, notated them incorrectly, and I'm going to slap you on the back of the head with a yardstick when you don't do it right. That's why. That's why I wanted to do this. The, the cover art was pretty much exactly m mixing covers of, of sci-fi books from when I was a kid that I loved mixing that with sort of uh, the r romantic painting imagery. Uh, there was a winged guy that you could see. I was like, okay, here's how to tell the artist how to <laughs> make the winged guy. It's kind of like Mad Max, but with wings and like this and that. And then, then it just looked too dorky when we had the final thing. And I thought people were gonna think that like that was supposed to be me flying around and it was too much. So there's just like one wing. <laughs> I've always, for a long time, thought that you, you shouldn't worry about performing your record live in any one-to-one -one way, you know? I, I grew up with, with listening to, to records as a contained experience, and every scratch on the record or every fucked up part of a cassette or whatever was part of, cherished part of me listening to them over and over again. And that certainly informed me using, uh, like, distressing textures when I make re recordings, you know, now. I just want to, I want to pull those two things apart as much as possible and, and get people away from even expecting that. <laughs> 